Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, gamers all around the world, welcome to another episode of BA Select Start Base. Beautiful. We are back here today with another uh, rendition of BA Select Start. We are continuing our road to Last of Us 2. Once again, it is the Shant and Dan the Man. That's me. Dan, how you doing? I'm doing okay. Yeah, welcome to the show. Welcome back. Welcome back, and like I said, we've been focusing on Last of Us. We have moved away from 2K until further notice. We are focusing on our road to Last of Us 2, which at this point, hopefully, with not another date change coming, set to release May... 29th, I believe. 29th, I saw. 2020. Um, just around the corner, hopefully, with no other uh, date changes occurring. Um, hard to believe that originally was supposed to come out this month in yeah. just... 18 days time i think so yeah somewhere around there but hey they got to put the extra work in to make sure that it's polished up and ready to go so i guess it's worth the wait today's episode brought to you by domino's because i just saw the domino's pizza guy no seriously there was a domino's guy delivering pizza um Yes, so let's get on with it. So today on the agenda, I believe Dan has one or two quick announcements that he wants to make first, so we'll do that first. Dan, go All ahead. All right, so first thing, uh, if you are a fan of uh, collecting toys or you're, you like the little Funko figures like myself, I mean, I'm not a Funko figure. I mean, I also like the Funko figures, just to be clear. Um, <laughs> you tell me this whole time. I have not been a Funko figure the entire time we've been friends, Sean. Another life's uh, questions answered. Breaking news. Uh, so, uh, if you are a fan of The Last of Us and uh, the Funko Pops, uh, I learned today, because I, I follow a page on Instagram that posts Funko news, and I've been clamoring for it for a long time. I started to try and get into making my own custom Funko Pops a while wow. back. And I had drawn up a sketch uh, of a couple of characters from Last of Us. And it looks like there is an official Last of Us Ellie Funko Pop. No release date just yet. But uh, keep your eyes out and uh, you, uh, you can pick one up, I assume, at places like Best Buy, uh, GameStop, uh, Amazon, Target. Target. And you'll be able to get them uh, rel relatively cheap. But Ellie is on the way. Who knows about anybody else? But we'll see. I, I When you sent it to me this morning, I thought, you know, it would do it justice if we had an Ellie and a Joel, just because I feel like one character has always played off the other. Yeah. But if at this point it's just Ellie, cool. I can live with it. Now, um, now, the only question is, is it teenagers? Well, I guess technically she's always been a teenager. But is it... Uh, 14 year old Ellie or 19 year old Ellie that we're getting is she gonna roll out in in time for the game and be the this version I don't know okay but we'll we'll see because it, it didn't say the last of us 2 it, it just said, said the last, last of us okay so it might be her in the little ice cream sweatshirt which I think would be fun <laughs> you know the Neapolitan one it's like the pink white and uh, yes bro. yes 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 love that one um so okay <laughs> maybe a, a Funko Pop on the way uh, I thought it was going to be very expensive, but then when you told me it's probably going to be like, you know... Yeah, she, she's probably just going to be a standard one, so you're okay. probably looking 9 to $12. Okay, but I'm thinking as time goes on, it, when they stop making it, it's it's probably going to get more expensive. So. Maybe, it depends on the on the, the uh, quantity that, that Funko decides to put out. Yes. Uh, if she's a limited release to co coincide with the game, yeah. uh, maybe, but... Yeah, we'll, we'll, grab them while you can. Yeah, we'll snatch them up early. Yes. So, and we'll put it right next to our Ellie statue. <laughs> you're, you're getting the Ellie statue, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah I got the collector's one. However, where are my Ellie editions? There it is. Why? Why? Dan. Why are there no more Ellie editions? Fix it, Naughty Dog. Love you. Anyway. <laughs> Have to throw that in there. So, <laughs> Funko Pops aside. Um, the second piece of news to bring up is the uh, pr out, coming out of Prima Games on a sponsored ad on my Facebook today. I'm sure it's other places too. That was a mouthful. Um, but we got the official rating of the game is looking to be uh, M, which is not it's not a not, shocker. not surprising. Yeah. yeah. Um, First but, one was M, right? I think so. Okay. Because uh, I don't think you need all of these things to to hit M, but. Uh, it says, according to the official Last of Us Part 2 website, 
The game uh, has an M rating, 17+, plus, which has to be expected. But, uh, that being said, it has blood and gore, intense violence, strong language, but the thing they're, they're posting this about is the fact that it includes sexual content and nudity on the uh, descriptor. Now, they're billing this as the first time that this has really been a Naughty Dog thing, is to delve into this, and we've obviously talked about the visceralness of yes. The Last of Us 1. Um, obviously, you were dealing with a 14-year-old at the time, uh, so that wouldn't have been appropriate. Uh, but now, she's 19, uh, so it's, it's, it's more acceptable at yes. this point. We don't know any of the context of it, though. So, is it a scene with her and her love interest, presumably Dina. Dina. Is it something less um, romantic that we're going to see that's going to probably rub some people the wrong way? Such Who as something that was insinuated in the first part? Yeah. Um, we don't know yet. Yeah. But, um, I, I again, I trust that it's going to play into the story. It's yeah. not going to be it's gratuitous. It's not just going to be thrown in there. Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, in regards to them putting the whole nudity thing in there, there was a shot in the um, reveal trailer that we got uh, towards the end of last year where Ellie has her back towards the camera. Yeah. She's kind of bruised up, but she's not wearing anything. Um, I think that might be where the nudity, you know, is being uh, insinuated. It's, it's possible. I suspect that for it to get, like, an actual, like, sexual content or nudity rating as opposed to just a bare back, I think there has to be something Show. more okay so whether it's like um like i don't i don't know if maybe she gets like thrown at some point and like a shirt rips and i and like and, maybe and maybe, okay. maybe she's still wearing like a bra or something or maybe we see a, a naked dead body somewhere i don't know like i could i could see like a clicker who doesn't have clothing on be probably something that yeah. would generate the nudity rating but we'll see or or maybe not not to get graphic on anybody but there's a reason why she's not wearing a top, and maybe it's because someone was about to do something. Yeah. And she fights her way out, and then she's in, in that shot where you see it in the trailer. Maybe she, it's her moment of like, okay, you know. I just but, killed all these guys. Yeah. Before <laughs> maybe and, being. And, and that looks like that's the same house, maybe, as the first one where she's playing the guitar. The first teaser. Yeah, yeah. I'm just so I'm trying so, to... so it's possible that like that leads into. I don't know if we're actually going to see the whole song thing play out in the actual game. That might have just been it a just teaser. been a teaser, yeah. But it's possible that we could see that flow into the other one where she is sitting there and she's just done what you described, fought off her attackers, and now she puts on new clothing or finds new clothing, and she she sees the guitar and she goes, you know what? I used to know how to play guitar. Let me let me noodle something out. And then we have Joel walk in, but you've got all the bodies of the people that yeah. she killed in that tussle. Yes. Who knows? We'll see. There's there's still there's all conjecture. Point of today's video, now that we've talked about these two uh, two little tidbits, uh, we come together today to talk about DLC. For those of you not well versed in video games, you probably aren't listening to this video. <laughs> But what are you doing on the video anyway? <laughs> exactly. Uh, there's plenty of other things like our WWE AWP videos that we haven't posted in a while. But you can check those out um, for a very reasonable but non-negotiable price of free. But anyway, so we're going to talk about downloadable content DLC. So, so that's what it stands for. That's exactly what it stands for. Um, and so we went through. <laughs> Sorry. And we talked the other day about things we might like to see integrated into the game. This is talking about things we'd like to see integrated outside of the game in a way. Yes. And so we each came up with three downloadable content things that we would like to see in the game. And I'm going to go ahead and open them right now because I was in the wrong app just now. It's okay. All right. So I'll start this time since I, start, I made you start yes. last time. So the first one that I've got. If you played the first Last of Us, you know that they put out a DLC called Left Behind. And Ellie talked at one point during the plot about her best friend Riley. And that she got infected at the same time as Riley, and Riley's infection progressed while hers did not. Riley went insane, and we're led to believe that she is dead. Okay. 
Now, if you watched the last video, I speculated on who, how she may not necessarily be dead. It's obviously a long shot. I'm not putting my money on that. But that's not the point. The point is, my first thing is the, a Left Behind 2, where we see the completion of that story. Because uh, we just, I think the last shot we see of them is they're just sitting against that against thing. Against that thing, yeah. Realizing they've both been bitten. And then it goes back, you finish the gameplay where Ellie is trying to save Joel. Yes. And from that point, um, you are uh, you're just back in the game. So I'd like to see where the story actually concludes. What happens after they got bitten? How Riley progresses? Where she went? If maybe she went off into the wilderness to like protect people from herself, and then we just don't know what happened to her. But then again, you have to consider Riley was a part of the Fireflies. It seems like we're not dealing with Fireflies anymore. Yeah. So maybe Riley also had a progression where she, you know, was off the Fireflies. Now maybe she's with this new group. We don't know. Um, but no, yeah, that would be interesting. That would be very interesting to see. All right. So that's my first one. Now to you. All right. So my first one, uh, kind of going along the lines of Dan, where you kind of see a backstory to something. Um, or like the continuation of something. So my first one was having a small side story that shows what happened to Joel between the events of the first Last of Us and the second one. So, so sort of a story bridge. Yes, uh, because I've sort of, I guess, jumped on the bandwagon of Joel is probably dead. So if he is, I would, I think we would all like to know, it would all do us justice to find out what exactly happened to Joel. Was he bitten? Was he infected? Did someone kill him while he was trying to protect Ellie? What happened from the events of the first Last of Us all the way to the last one? And even if he's not dead, maybe what Joel's been up to. Maybe, I don't know, this would maybe be fun to see. Maybe it would show Joel's showing Ellie how to swim. You know, just to kind of give us an update on what happened to Joel after that final shot of I swear, she says okay, and we haven't really seen Joel since. Yeah. So that's my first. Yeah, I, I dig it. Um, as long as it's not like some weird farm farming simulator where all he did during the five years was, you know, he just helped out around the, the, the compound. He was like, I'm just going to take some time off. Relax. Uh, so my second one is a mode where we reverse the story and we play as an antagonist pursuing Ellie in an alternative plot line. Very interesting. So it may not necessarily be your canon story where that's the... the the, the core plot or the, the plot that is intended by Naughty Dog, but it's an alternate thing. Like, yeah. if there is, in fact, a main antagonist, we have, like, take the ending sequence of the game, maybe, and just flip it. And you just play backwards, where you're the bad guy trying to stop Ellie from foiling your plans or whatever, and it ends with an alternate ending. Yeah. Which kind of plays into what we talked about previously, but yeah, it's an idea. Yeah. I mean, I know we saw a few characters, which still to now, we don't know who they are. Yeah. Um, and that there was another reveal trailer where like they had uh, the person that we thought was Ellie's mom and there was those people that were trying to slash her. Maybe you're playing as one of them and you're trying to stop whoever's trying to, you know, uh, get in the way of your plans. Something along the lines of that. But no, that would be very interesting. And, and knowing Naughty Dog, they would have a way of sort of portraying, you know, an ending to that. Like, once you sort of capture Ellie, what happens there, you yeah. know? All right, for me, number two, I have alternate tweaks, ability to have unlimited ammo, slow motion, etc. Um, for those of you who completed um, Uncharted 4, you'll know that after you completed it the first time, then you have points where you can unlock, you know, uh, like tweaks in the game where you can have mirror world where everything yeah. is reversed or zero gravity or unlimited ammunition. I know Last of Us doesn't come off as like, you know, a goofy game where you can have, you know, everybody speaking like they're on helium or... Yeah. You know, all that, but I wouldn't mind certain things like, you know, unlimited ammunition, um, you know, um, a bigger health uh, gauge or, um, you know, anything along the lines of that. Because I think they're just so, sometimes where you just want to go through blasting enemies. Yeah. Um, so just, I. Yeah, invulnerability where you can just run up and just get into fist fights with literally everybody in the game without worrying about dying. Yeah. Just silly things like that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I like that, and uh, I think it adds, a uh, again, a, a quirky dynamic to a game that doesn't have a ton of quirk to it. Yes. Um, which allows you to take a step back from 
the heavy, depressive nature yeah. of the of the story. But my third is uh what if? And what just 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 go roll with me here. What if in the same vein again, all of mine have to do with gameplay. Yes. But what if in the vein of la- left behind we now see, and again, we don't know if Dina gets captured, if she dies, what happens to her. But let's assume she gets captured. And my idea for the third DLC would be um, uh, a, a story segment where we catch up to her and we play as her to try and escape from the captors. And Dina proves that she's semi competent in her own right as a fighter and she almost escapes. But then we have something, I don't know, pretty dramatic happen. Like she and Ellie come face to face outside of a, a compound or something, and they're coming face to face, and suddenly Dina boom, catches a bullet in the back, and she dies in Ellie's arms. Gasp! And uh, we just have this emotional scene that kind of mirrors, in a in a way, uh, Joel and Sarah from the first one. Okay. Because uh, I think that that would carry a lot of emotional weight. That would be a really heavy driving force for Ellie to finish, uh, finish her what journey. What was started, yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, that's my 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 third recommendation. I think that would be fun. Um, yeah, it would sort of have to be like a, a cross cutting type of thing. Uh, you know, where one second you're maybe maybe, maybe just maybe. You know, one second you're playing as Dina, then we flash over to, uh, you know, where Ellie is, so you play as Ellie for a second. As you, you bring them to the two to, of them. To the, yeah. yes, and then that's where the cuts, you know, eventually takes place. No, yeah, I would, honestly, any backstory at this point, yeah. I think, would be of interest. Yeah, I love anything, in, especially in this universe, like... We've talked about it before, the fact that I wrote a little short that yes. I still want to go back and yes. shoot. Um, that just adds an extra dynamic and an extra relevancy to a, to a nothing character from the first one. Because we, we love this game and this, this universe so much that we are invested in these characters and we want to know things. We want to know where they came from, what happened to person A, B, C... Um, and anything that adds a little bit more uh, depth to them as a person um, is is of interest to us. Yes. Which is why I want to know what happened to Riley, and we want to know what happens to Joel in between the two games. Cause right. Five years is a lot of time. Yes. To just not know what happened. And Naughty Dog is always sneaky. Like, I remember for the first... Uh, I heard about this, because obviously I wasn't following up, you know, to The Last of Us first release... But um, I heard that apparently in press conferences or like in E3, you know, events, Naughty Dog said, at no point in the game are you going to be able to play as Ellie. Like, they said that to the audience. Yeah. And then once everybody got to the winter scene, they're like, oh, crap, I can play as Ellie now, yeah. you know? So Naughty Dog always has, does a good job of sort of making you believe something and, like, allows for your brain to go in this direction. Yeah, a little, it's actually little like, baby, baby swerves to get you excited. Yeah, exactly. It's sort of that that nature of depriving you of something, but then being like, oh, well, here's a little taste. Here's a, here's a nugget. Enjoy. Um, <laughs> yes. No, yeah, I would love to see that. Uh, I think that cutscene would be very dramatic and uh, might even break some of our hearts, but... I'm expecting a lot of heartbreak in this game. But that's just me. Yeah, me too. And then on your third one, I believe you kind of touched on this previously. Yes, I said this before. uh, Design your own level. Give players ability to design a level where you get to choose how many infected, tools, weapons, and ammunition a player has. So, for example, the game goes, okay, So, and and maybe it would be cool if they had, like, uh, locations from the first Last of Us and the second one. For example, pick um, the hospital from the first game. Okay, you pick it. How many soldiers do you want? How many clickers do you want? How many infected? How many bullets do you want the player to have? Yeah. And you can either ha- create this for yourself or you can upload it online and download other people's. And, you know, uh, I-, I feel like a lot of people would make impossible levels to complete. But, you know, I think that's the fun of it is is, is finding a way, you know, how many bullets do I have? Um, you know, so just kind of have like a build your own level type of thing. 
I just think it would add just another dynamic to the game where you know if I don't think there will be a lot of people who might get tired of the main mo of the game of the main story. Yeah. But if once in a while you're like, you know what, let's let's spice things up. I want to try something different. You go, you uh, download a one, you play it, and yeah. it becomes you know sort of a new dynamic to the game. Yeah, I I think that I I do think that would be fun to bring in sort of the Super Mario Maker dynamic to. Yeah. It. Um, if you. Because cause I'm, I'm assuming your thought process is these are like little self-contained areas where it's yeah. al it's almost like a maze where you structure it and you try to get to an end point. Yeah, get because from obviously here to you're, here. Because yeah. obviously you're not building a story, but it's sort of right. like making your own multiplayer map. Yes. Now the thing that I would I would say they should absolutely stick to if they if they were to do something like this that's in the in the the vein of the Super Mario Maker is I think people need to be able to beat their own level. Yeah, yeah. Like, because cause it's all well and good to make a challenging level and even one that's almost impossible to beat. But, but like, I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to be thrown into a level that I downloaded where they give me a gun with one bullet and I'm in the middle of a pack of clickers. Yeah. Because you can't fight clickers. Like, yes. it, 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 unless they changed it. Unless they changed the gameplay, but yeah, you had to have the the the, the shiv, or you had to uh, shoot, shoot them. them or, yeah, because uh, I think I think you could sneak up on them still and throw them on the ground and stomp on them. But if you're in the middle of a group of clickers, it's not going to play out that way. Yeah. Uh, so I think you if if they do that, you need to be able to beat your own level yeah. before you can upload it for other people. Because I'd be pissed if I downloaded one. I'm like, oh, this this seems challenging, and it's not something I can actually do. Yeah. Or you get to the end and there's not actually a door. You're like, what? What is this? It's a sham. <laughs> um, well, I mean, because the, the one reason why this, this kind of sticks with me is because, keep in mind, La uh, Naughty Dog said there's not going to be a multiplayer. Yeah. We're only getting the, the, the main story along with whatever DLC, you know, if we get those Left Behind-esque, you know, yeah. playthroughs. So I think that and maybe... I, if there's more than one Left, left Behind equivalent, I'll be hyped. Yeah. Like if you give me like a, like if you give me three of the things we talked about, and it's like different time frames within the plot, I'll I'll be stoked. Yeah, that's a bargain. <laughs> um, but if they don't, it's like, you know, you have this hyped up game which only has the main playthrough. Yeah. It's like I I feel like you need one more thing to kind of accompany yeah, it. To, you know, to build that. Yes, to, to build that. So, because one one thing that that I wasn't crazy about with. Like the I so Jedi Fallen Order, which I brought up last time. When I bought it, I got it on sale on Amazon. I got the deluxe edition. It was on sale for less than the standard version. Wow! So I got it for forty nine ninety nine, awesome. thirty bucks off. But based on what they give you, as part of that, it's not worth it. <laughs> not worth it based on what what's what's given to you to pay that extra thirty dollars, because you don't get like you don't unlock. An additional lightsaber color. You don't unlock a new power. You get a couple of skins. Hmm. You get a couple of skins, and I think you get an unlocked like art book thing, which a lot of the the deluxe editions give you, which I don't mind. It's fun. You get to see the behind the scenes. You get to see things that may not have come to fruition within the yeah. game, but were planned. Um, but yeah, I don't like. I don't want to spend a hundred and thirty, hundred and seventy. How much is the collectors? One hundred sixty-nine. A hundred. I think yeah, it's one hundred somewhere, somewhere around there. I don't want to spend one hundred and seventy-nine. And granted, you're getting other shit. Yeah. Like you're getting the 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 stickers or the patches the and the pins, statue, the statue, the bracelet, the thank you. You, you know, get a lot yeah. of cool stuff. So I'm not I'm not mad about. I think there is already enough value in the one seventy. Yeah. But I wouldn't want to spend an eighty dollars on. Just a, the middle, because I think there is a, a deluxe edition, isn't there? There's yeah, the, there's the standard, standard, there's a deluxe, there's a collectibles, and, an and there's an Ellie. Yeah, I wouldn't want to spend eighty bucks on the collector's edition, or no, on the uh, deluxe, deluxe edition, edition yeah. to find out that it's just the game and a different shirt, <laughs> different shirt, and uh, well, you you get a you get a scope to put on all your guns. Oh, great! I don't I don't care. Scope on a pistol. Yeah. Or all oh, your guns are silenced. 
Nobody actually, can hear you. Actually, I would like that. Because I, 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 I want to do a stealth playthrough. But, but you want to spend $30 for that silencer? I'm spending 160 bucks. Well, I'm, I'm, you get my point. Is if, you were by, go, if you were debating going from the standard edition to the deluxe, yeah. would being given a silencer be enough for you to justify no, 30 bucks? No, it wouldn't. <laughs> I, I, I will tell you this. I think this is kind of becoming like a internet community catchphrase. Yeah. We trust Naughty Dog. Yeah. Because their resume unlike 2K, speaks for itself. Yeah. These guys have had great release after great release. Yeah. Um, and even their subpar ones are still fan favorite games. Yes. So. They're not Last of Us or Uncharted 3 or 4 level, but it's it's fun to go yeah. back and revisit. Um, they seem to have a solid grasp on how to build a game. Yeah, I mean... I'm, T take take notes, 2K, because they don't just put 10 months on it. They yeah. put years. years. And much like if they need to, they will extend the release and go, look, we told you fe February, we got to stretch it over all the way to we're, May. We're going to give you guys good stuff, so yes. don't, don't worry. Your money is worth it. Exactly. Yeah. So hearing that there is no multiplayer, hearing that, you know, uh, there might be a plot point that not everybody likes or whatever... At the end of the day, it's like, despite all of that, I could still trust these guys, yeah. you know? I know for a fact that after Last of Us 2 comes out, whatever that next title is, chances are everybody's going to buy it. Yeah. With little to no backstory of what it is, what it contains, does it relate to Uncharted or Last of Us? Is it something, something completely different? Yeah. No matter what, you build that trust with the company. Is it going to be a new Crash Bandicoot game? Who knows? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> um, or much like Rockstar. Yeah. Rockstar also has that thing where, you know, they pay attention to what the audience wants. They put in the time. They put in everything to make sure that you get your money's worth. Yeah. When a company does that, it's like, you can't go wrong. Really, you, you just, you can't go wrong. Fun fact, Naughty Dog originally thought that uh, Last of Us 1 was going to fail. That it was going to flop. Well, they were wrong. And just the irony of how far we've come. The fact that it, it almost feel it um, like Uncharted has a big following, but it almost feels like The Last of Us has more clout within the fans yes. than the entirety of the Uncharted series. Yes. And I think it's because, we talked about it before, Nathan Drake's cool and all, but I don't feel like those games had as much emotional um, core to them yeah. As The Last of Us did, and I think that's what connected with everybody. Yes. You came to love these characters as opposed to being like, that's a cool guy. Nathan Drake's cool, but we love Ellie and Joel. Yes. So I think that's the that's the difference. Yeah, so we got through all of it. I mean, any parting words or any final thoughts or anything that you wanted to bring up no i mean i'm i'm good but uh if you're if you're listening pop down into the comments give us your your thoughts on the dlc that we've included give us your impressions or 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 ideas for what they could include uh and let let's uh let's see what you got so until next time always remember save your progress and don't turn off the system we'll see you next time later